That's right. On the 13th of June 1997, Upar Cinema in the country's national capital turned into a death trap. 59 people were killed or dead while they were watching the film. Today, 18 years later, the Supreme Court has let off famous builders Gopal and Sulshil Ansal, who owned the cinema theatre where the fire took place with a hefty fine of 30 crores each within three months. The bench rejected the submissions of senior advocate Harish Salve, who appearing for the CBI, said that the convicts be sent to jail to serve the remaining jail term. Senior advocate KTS Tulsi, who represented the Association of Victims of Upar Tragedy, also said that the convicts not only be jailed, but rather their punishment should be announced. Last year, the Supreme Court had found the Ansals guilty of criminal negligence and indicted them for being more interested, they said, in making money than in ensuring the security of their customers. However, the judges had deferred on how much jail time they merited. Neelam Krishnamurti, whose young son and daughter died in the fire, has led a tough campaign. She broke down today upon hearing the Supreme Court verdict. And I want to go to Neelam Krishnamurti, who joins me at the moment. Also joining me is Sanjay Hegde, senior counsel in the Supreme Court. I appreciate both of you joining us. Neelam Krishnamurti, give us a sense. I heard you say earlier today that 20 years ago, you'd lost faith in God. Today, you've lost faith in the courts. Absolutely, Rajdeep. That's exactly what I said. And I meant every single word of it that I said. Because I was so disappointed with the Supreme Court judgment today. There is one thing I want to put on record. Mr. Salve was not even allowed to argue. He had not even... The, uh, Junior kept asking for half an hour. We were not given the time. Mr. Tulsi was not allowed to argue. It was only Mr. Ram Malani who kept arguing right from morning till post-lunch. Although it was our appeal, Ansel's appeal was dismissed. The only appeal that was pending was uh, uh, Association's appeal and CBI's appeal. So we should have been given an opportunity to argue, not the Ansel's. But and uh, uh, the message that the Supreme Court has given today mm -hmm. is buy freedom at 60 crore. Kill sick 59 people and buy your freedom by paying 60 crore. And also they've encouraged the government officials by giving this money 60 crore rupees. It is a reward to the Delhi government to get into nexus with Ansels for allowing them to issue the NO, for issuing NOCs to run the cinema hall. Right. So this will only encourage the corporate sector, a collusion between the corporate sector and the government. So the Delhi government is richer. They've been rewarded for killing 59 of our victims. The Delhi government has something to celebrate about today. You know... I, I can sense your anger, I can sense your emotions. Uh, the fact though, Sanjay Hegde, is the law of torts and negligence in this country has remained underdeveloped. We've rarely seen a case of negligence of this kind of civic negligence, which even then becomes criminal negligence, resulting in long jail terms. So in that sense, have the judges simply followed the law of the land rather than setting a fresh precedent? Well, the judges have more or less has gone by past precedent. Uh, the law of torts is separate. This was a criminal matter. Mm -hmm. In the law of torts, they, uh, a civil suit for damages, uh, if filed and, and takes its own due time during, um, through all the courts, we rarely have had damages which actually hurt, which sends such a message to people who are negligent or to corporations that are negligent, that this is simply not on. Because 60 they, crores is 6 flats for the answers, 10 crores a flat, they just they, have yeah, a, it's they, 6 crores. Yeah, they, these, these are what are called flea bites. Now, now, as far as this case, particular case is concerned, we this was the... We don't have flea bargaining in our country, I'm sorry, we don't have flea bargaining in our country. No, they, they, no, no, they, no we're not flea bargaining, they, we're not flea bargaining, Neelam, I'm entirely on your side. He's they, saying these are flea bites, 60 no, no, crores. But that's, but that's what's happened in the... No, yeah. no, but that's exactly what I'm trying to... I'm not telling you, Sanjay. What yeah. I'm trying to say, that's exactly what's happened in the court. Mr. Ram Milani has succeeded to plea bargain because they are rich and powerful. Can an ordinary person do that? That's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't exist. Why yeah. should it be allowed? What message are we sending to the society? What's the message that's gone out, Sanjay, today? Is the message that if you are rich and powerful, 18 years the case drags along, at the end of the day, you strike some kind of a deal. 60 crores, 59 people dead. Well... Quite frankly, when the judge finally draws down the curtain, he doesn't really intend to send a message. Sometimes it does come into the judicial calculus. Today, Neelam has lost. She's understandably upset. Yesterday, we, we, we had the Nitish Katara case. You see, courts are but imperfect. 
we strive to do justice according to law <laughs> and while doing justice according to law here it is not only the feelings of the victim family or the uh, the people who have fought so long so hard who always succeed there are there are pe uh, at, at times as as neelam has pointed out there are people who drag out the process who drag it out to such a stage where they can finally claim look we are too old to be punished we can, if we, uh, as an alternative that can we not be fine can i can i ask you neelam krishnamurthy what is it that you would like to therefore tell the ansars or those today who you feel have failed you when it comes to justice i can only tell them they've succeeded in their mission that was their mission right from the beginning that after killing our children they dragged on this matter and the, even the supreme court has considered a prolonged trial as one of the mitigating factor for reducing the sentence what the supreme court seems to be forgetting what the point mr tulsi was trying to make was that the prolonged trial was due to answers it was the association which went to the high court umpteen times to get orders for expeditious trial that's how the trial got over in 10 years then we came to the supreme court we got the bail cancelled and answers lawyer mr jetmlani argued that matter the entire matter was over in 26 hearings and jetmlani argued only for 4 days in the supreme court mr jetmlani took eight adjournments between 2010 and 2012 which were granted to him by the supreme court and then he argues for one full year and it's come in the order that mr jetmlani has argued extensively for months Mr Salve was given 2 days Mr Tulsi was given 2 days I want to know who's responsible for this delay and then the judges kept the judgment pending the the judgment was reserved and the judgment was delivered only after one year and then my matter is not listed for 17 months for sentencing I have to go and plead I have to move three applications for early hearing for early hearing I in mean, the chief justice court I get this hearing in three times and still come and ask for in german who's responsible Ma'am, I'm, I'm, I'm going to the ask you. The system is only for the rich and powerful. Ma'am, ma'am, you're not just a petitioner; you're a mother today. Do you feel, therefore, that the fight has not been worth yeah. it? Yeah. Do you feel the fight has not been worth it, ma'am? Definitely not. No, Rajdeep. Today, I regret my decision of going to the courts for seeking justice. I wish I had picked up a gun 18 years back and faced the trial. I would have pleaded insanity. I would have come out by now. Fourteen years, I would have spent in jail, and I would have had some peace of my mind. My message to the Indians today: Don't make the mistake of going to the courts if your rich and powerful person has killed your children, because you will never get justice in this country. This is the highest court of the country, which has let us down, and I have no respect for judiciary from today. Ma'am, those are very strong words. Some would say, of course, they amount to contempt of judicial uh, of the courts. I can understand, though, your sentiments. I don't care if they. I don't care if they want to send me behind bars for answers for killing my children. They are most welcome to. They are most welcome. But if it's speaking the truth, is a contempt of court. Yes, I have committed a contempt of court, and I am willing to face the consequences. Uh, I have no inhibitions. Whatever I am saying, it's a very conscious decision. What I have faced, I am saying. and i have no problem I, world over let the people know how the indian judiciary functions i understand your sentiments i'm just going to give you a final word sanjay is there therefore a need in such high profile cases to have them time bound otherwise the repeated adjournments the manner in which a case like this drags on for 18 years clearly then the court sees it as a mitigating circumstance as they have seen it in the ansal case that you need time bound verdicts in this country particularly in high profile cases how do you define high profile and and how do you define high profile lawyers here was quite frankly ram jetmalani has been pulling this matter along he has been telling judges that i am 93 this is a swan song and he and he has pulled it continually the some judges, I, I, to, I, I, some judges some, to say enough is enough often finding punishment that fits the crime is the toughest task of being a judge and sometimes justice fails but justice does not always fail neelam i know you're hurting i know you're grieving i you have my full sympathy you have my full support but 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 the no, system there is there is good in the you. system and it is worth fighting for let's let's leave it at that ma'am you are a very brave woman 18 years of my this ma'am you are a very brave woman please do not no, see I, your fight as having been fruitless that's it today i'm shattered 
No, I can understand you are shattered, but remember, ma'am, you have also been a, a, a role model for many who are fighting the courts of justice and therefore do not believe that that fight has not been worth it. So please keep faith at least in no, your Rajiv, fight. No, I failed. I failed towards my children today. I failed as a mother towards my children. No, I ma promised them I'll get justice to them and today I failed. No, I failed, Rajdeep. No, you haven't, ma'am. I have failed today. Ma'am, you haven't. I, I Why? Gave, I gave 18 years of my life. No. It's a fight of life. Ma'am, why I'm should you... I have failed. Ma'am, we are all parents. I, I can sense your, no, your a... pain, but I don't think you should see yourself as having failed. You have made a Herculean effort. And the effort is what should matter, ma'am. I have made an effort. Neelam, if your children were... No, but were... I, I chose the right path. I didn't Neelam. lose my cool. I didn't come on the roadside. But this is... Neelam, if your children no, were alive uh, today, they would today have been not... proud of you. That's right. I, I think that's well put, ma'am. Your children no, would be proud of you. Your children would have been proud of you. India is proud of you. India is proud of you. No, they would have been proud of me had I got justice for them. No, but they'll be uh, today. They'll be really. I don't know what my children. I didn't have guts to come home and face my children. I have still not gone into my children's room today because I don't know what I'm going to tell them tonight. That your mother has failed you. Ma'am, your mother is not. I mean, their mother I, has not failed. Let's get. Ma'am, ma'am, their mother has not failed. Fail them. No. The fact is, the fact is that at the end of the day, you have, as I said, become a symbol of the fight for justice for the common person. Let's leave it at that, ma'am. I, I leave you uh, on this program with our thoughts completely with you. Thank you very much, ma'am, for joining us. I know it's a difficult moment, and I appreciate and respect the fact that you've come and aired your thoughts in the way you have. Thank you very much, ma'am, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Sanjay, for joining us as well.